For 2023, RockShox has redesigned the Lyric, so it packs a more focused performance punch, reducing overlap between its smaller and bigger siblings, the Pike and Zeb, both of which have also been refreshed. Thanks to Freewheel for sponsoring this video. If you like any of the kit that I'm wearing today, check out the links in the video description. A number of changes have been made with the aim of focusing the Lyric's intended use on all mountain riding, rather than spanning the gamut of single crown riding disciplines, from trail through to enduro. With the introduction of the new Charger 3 damper, RockShox claims it has eliminated crosstalk between low and high speed compression adjustments. Those are bold claims, but I'll come on to whether they've done that later on. Before I get into the review, here are three things you need to know about the range update. Number one, as I mentioned, there's a totally new Charger 3 damper that now uses a coil spring backed internal floating piston. This new design sees the expanding bladder system of the Charger 2 and 2.1 replaced. Number two, the buttercups we first saw on flight attendant forks have now been added to the Lyric. These are rubber bumpers that sit between the lower legs of the forks and both the damper and spring assemblies to reduce high frequency vibration. And number three, the air spring has been totally overhauled. The Debonair Plus spring aims to provide all the positives of the previous Debonair springs, such as a super supple beginning stroke with bottom out resistance without the negatives. Remember these points as I'll come onto them in detail later in the video. So how much does the new Lyric cost? Well, the top flight ultimate model with all the latest tech I've tested here retails for £1,013, $1,049 or €1,134. Euros. Is it worth upgrading? Allow me to get into the nerdy details. Visually, the 2023 Lyric is different from the previous model, and not just because of its all-new heavy meadow colour. The lower castings have been slimmed down and reshaped with a more angular design. The result, RockShox claims, is a hyper-focused new chassis that's lighter while still critically stiff to deliver on Lyric's legendary performance, to quote their marketing material. And RockShox claims torsional stiffness is up by an impressive 20% compared to the old model. Fitted exclusively to the ultimate version of the fork is the ultimate bushing package. This sees increased overlap on both the upper and lower bushings, which is said to minimize friction. Pressure release valves are molded into the rear of the lower castings and are used to eliminate unwanted air buildup in the lowers. I was lucky enough to get a set of the 2023 RockShox Lyric Ultimate 160mm travel forks ahead of their official launch. I got them set up on my Marin Alpine Trail XR along with the all new RockShox Super Deluxe Coil Ultimate rear shock. If you want to see a review on that rear shock, then let yourself be heard in the comments. Or you can head to biteradar.com to read about my time with the shock. I would be lying if I said I found setting up the 2023 Lyric easy. The new air spring and damper certainly requires a different approach compared to RockShox's outgoing models and other forks on the market. Although RockShox's new Trailhead smartphone app's suggested settings tallied with the recommended spring pressures on the sticker on the back of the forks, I had to experiment with setup to get them performing as expected. I initially installed three volume reducer spacers, the same number I put in previous Lyric forks, and set the pressure to 80 psi, which was recommended amount for my 76 kilogram weight. I set the high and low speed compression damping to fully open, and adjusted rebound to fill, which was also fully open. This setup gave me roughly 30 millimeters or 18.75% sag, out on the trail, however, this felt terrible. The initial part of the fork's travel was too quick to compress, while the spring-based ramp-up was harsh and sudden. 
At this point, I was a little concerned about the fork's performance. However, I spoke to SRAM, who recommended that I remove all of the volume reducer spacers because the redesigned debonair spring doesn't need them. Revisiting my setup entirely, I removed all the spacers and re-inflated the spring to 80 psi. I set the damping adjustments, except rebound, to their middle points. Like this, the fork began to feel better. I incrementally reduced spring pressure, finally ending up with 65 psi, but did add a single volume reducer spacer. This setup gave me a whopping 47 millimeters or 29.37% sag. However, thanks to the impressive mid-stroke support and bottom-out resistance, it's possible to run much lower air pressures in the Debonair Plus spring than you'd expect. For the damper, I set the high-speed compression fully open. The low-speed compression was in the middle, stock setting, and the low-speed rebound fully open. Although this is hardly a revolutionary setup, it does serve as a good illustration of just how different the new Lyric is compared to the old one. If you're looking to purchase a 2023 Lyric, I would recommend spending plenty of time setting it up and trying out different options to get them performing as you want. With setup out of the way, let's move on to my ride impressions. As I discovered, while getting the Lyric running how I wanted, the new fork standout feature is its mid-stroke support and gradual smooth ramp up towards bottom out, both created by the all new Charger 3 damper and Debonair Plus spring working together. The amount of damper support, even at low spring pressures, was seriously impressive and underlined the fork's aggro attitude. I could confidently weight the front wheel, even when hammering into steep catch berms without fear of it diving into its travel or wallowing about in its mid-stroke. In berms or through compressions, it was equally impressive. The damper and spring provided geometry stabilizing support, where the front end ride height wasn't constantly sinking and rising, even with large exaggerated shifts in body weight. This meant I could focus on riding harder and faster with more control, rather than moving my body around to compensate for a lack of damping. No longer did I need to rely on the spring as the only tool to manage ride height and ensure stability like I used to on the old Lyric. Despite running way more static sag than I usually would, the fork remained consistently well positioned in its travel. This damper support worked exceptionally well with the Debon Air Plus air spring, which I'll talk more about now. I found the 2023 Lyric's air spring to be one of the best I've ever ridden because it managed to handle lower spring pressures with impressively supple but effective ramp up. Frequently, I'd use full travel on a descent, but never felt a single hard stop bottom out during my entire testing period. Testimony to their incredible performance. On bigger hits, they were massively absorbent, truly smoothing out chunky terrain with control and composure. Not once did they become overwhelmed, unable to recover for the next bump or feel as though they were compression spiking. This cemented their big bump performance. Harshness caused by big square edged hits was non-existent, helping reduce fatigue on long descents. Moving away from the air spring to the chassis' fairly obvious redesign, I found the forks still blended that unmistakable stiffness and flex the old Lyric was renowned for. On steep terrain in high-low corners, where most of my weight was pressuring the front end, there was no perceptible flex or twist, and the front wheel tracked the line I pointed it on with pinpoint precision. In high-speed corners, it was the same story. This accuracy didn't come at the expense of comfort, and steering deflection caused by an overly stiff fork wasn't a problem. Although RockShox has coined the lyric an all-mountain fork, the 160mm travel version has plenty of guts to serve up enduro-like performance. As with the damper and spring, the chassis has an exceptional balance in the way it feels. Okay then, so far in terms of real life on trail performance, the new Lyric is a resounding success, but it's not totally perfect. The biggest downfall was small bump performance. 
while the buttercups arguably create a muted and damp feeling on harsher, smaller bumps. The outright small bump compliance isn't quite there. For example, worn out trail center surfaces littered with small jagged rocks with the least likely to be absorbed by the Lyric. Instead of the fork fluttering in and out of its travel, it remained almost static until the bump sizes increased. Through the bars, they felt more like a high density squash ball rather than a soft foam or sponge ball being rolled along a bumpy surface. Neither transmit any harshness, but the sponge or foam ball can more accurately conform to the surface's bumps. While this didn't cause discomfort, limit traction or generally detract from the way they rode, it was noticeable. I found it hard to accurately diagnose the cause of this. It could be how the new Lyric's rejigged airspring feels. It could have been caused by friction within the damper or even the larger bushing overlap. Unfortunately, I couldn't test a second set of Lyric's to verify whether this is a characteristic or a one-off. However, I did manage to ride the new Zeb briefly and it felt much more supple at the start of its travel compared to this Lyric. This suggests it's most likely related to the air springs design and the size of its positive and negative air chambers rather than something else. Keep your eyes peeled for a review of the new Zeb coming to the channel soon. RockShox claims it has eliminated crosstalk between low and high speed compression adjustments. Doing so is the holy grail in damper performance and requires significant technology to perfect. So this is a big claim indeed. With the 2023 Lyric, they've come very close to achieving that goal. The range of low and high speed compression damping adjustment is certainly very broad before either of those circuits begin to affect the other. This is a massive improvement on previous dampers and means either compression damping type can be run almost fully closed without hugely impacting the other. However, it's not perfect. I found fully closing the low speed adjuster with the high speed fully open made the fork feel harsher on high speed hits compared to having the low speed half closed. Likewise, fully closing the high speed adjuster with the low speed fully open caused the fork to ride higher in its travel compared to having the high speed mid adjustment. That's complicated, but I think you understood. Whether or not the Charger 3 damper performs the way RockShox promises can only be proved on a dyno. Unfortunately, this isn't something I'm able to test. Going off feel alone, however, I'm comfortable saying the progress RockShox has made here is impressive. And there are few forks on the market that can boast as little interference between damper adjustments as the Charger 3. How does the 2023 RockShox Lyric Ultimate compare to the model year 21 RockShox Lyric Ultimate? The biggest difference, perhaps unsurprisingly, is how they feel at the start of their travel. During back-to-back -back testing, the old fork required much less force to enter the first part of its travel, making light work of the bumps on worn out trail center runs. But in steeper sections, the old Lyric would dive into its stroke easier until it reached the support of the air spring. In contrast, the new fork sat higher in its travel in large compressions or down steep sections of trail, providing impressive support. And as I previously mentioned, rebound damping is much lighter on the old Lyric. And the range of adjustment meant it could be slowed right down or sped up. The new Lyric's rebound damping is much heavier and the range of adjustment smaller, specifically towards the faster end. This could be a problem for some riders. The new Lyric is also eerily silent on the trails compared to the old Lyric's weeding. Making a silent fork was another of RockShox's aims when creating the Charger 3, and the brand has delivered. But which is better? Well, it's probably no surprise the 2023 Lyric is a significant improvement on the old fork, especially its air spring feel and compression damping adjustment and performance. The new Lyric is a resounding success and arguably one of the best mountain bike suspension forks currently on the market. 
The support and ride height control offered by both the Charger 3 damper and Debon Air Plus Air Spring sets a new benchmark because that support doesn't come at the sacrifice of high speed, small bump smoothness. It has meaningful and fully usable compression adjustments that significantly alter the way the fork feels, making it hugely tunable for a wide range of riders and trail conditions. While small bump sensitivity is down on the previous model, it's a trade-off I welcome, given the capabilities of the damper in every other respect. The latest iteration of the Lyric is currently the fork to beat if you're a hardcore trail, all mountain or light enduro rider. These are my thoughts, but what are yours? Let me know in the comments and if you want to see reviews on the rest of the RockShox update, then make yourself heard. With the notifications on so you never miss another video.